I've come up here. I have installed a new blade. Just giving them a test. The turbines are tracking. You see that start turning. Now over here is the new three blade. And you can see it's just not quite turning yet. But it'll turn here pretty quick. You can see Chaos is tracking. And Pinky is just barely catching it. So wind speed is right around six miles per hour. But oh, there we go, I didn't catch it. That three blade, I want you to see how fast it starts up and goes. Now come over here and look. She's barely moving. Look at this one now. She's turning faster. Look at this one now. Pinky's starting to flutter a little bit. She'll start catching the wind. And that one will speed up. But I want you to look how fast that sucker's going. Once it starts, it really goes. Now Pinky's going to speed up. I don't know. I hope this camper does it justice here. She's speeding up. And she's up and going. But that new three blade that I've got sitting over there is on Chaos. That's the new Thermodyne blades. They will actually spin up faster than, and there's the other one, but they'll spin, they'll actually spin up faster uh, once they get started. They'll spin a lot faster and get moving a lot faster. And if you look over here, these uh, three blade, let me get over here, because the wind's been kind of uh, hit and miss. But, and I hope the video does some justice, because I don't know if you can even hardly hear the wind out here. But you listen to that sucker go. That's the new Thermodyne blade, the black ones. And um, look at that. That's just three blades, guys. That's fascinating, isn't it? And you go over here to Pinky, which has got the five Windy Nation blades. And look at this. Not as much torque. Not as much torque, and I can almost hit it with my hands. It's not going very fast. Not compared to them. So you can hear it. But you compare it to these over here, and these suckers are really moving. These will start up literally at the same speed as the, uh, the Windy Nation 5 blade. These start up at about three mile an hour, two to three mile an hour faster than Missouri blade, and so do them. But these blades right here, they get to a certain speed, you know, and they kind of stall a little bit. Them three blades, God, 21 mile an hour yesterday, I was hitting over 30 amps. So whatever he's done, the change on these followed the actual right uh, design. The production levels are very high on them and we're going to be probably changing all that i really honestly never have liked sword blades um they're not the best in the world in my view but everything dimensionally is 30 percent bigger and then the airfoil effect on the back of them is a huge increase so it actually dumps the wind out of them instead of wind walling so these here they dump out their wind allowing more wind to go through them instead of getting to be so many blades it becomes one solid thing and just becomes a wind wall uh, these here they can become a wind wall at about 40 miles per hour which is good but my furling system just goes into effect when these wind wall that thing right there has a angular side mount like so so it's torque I already noticed I had about a 30 mile an hour gust and it wanted to do a little of its own over torquing and that was perfect, man. I love that. I hope they build more of it. I uh, hope he makes more of these blades. That's been my review of the little three-blader. See, the wind's now... We're getting this uh, inversion start. We're going to have some massive winds tonight. But let me see if I can get over here. And it's kind of dangerous because it's big. There's that real heavy, crappy tail. I had to put the adapter on to make it big enough. So let me get over here. And I will stop these. And give you a look see here's what you got that's so important this guy has literally made this real nice winged edge and what it does is it creates low pressure on the back of the blade and look at that profile I get you that profile it's got a real excellent starting area it's, it's small 
but once it gets a start you see that once it gets a start that airfoil takes over and literally creates no air behind it and the effect is that this tip gets going so fast because it creates a vacuum you know literally just sucks the air through it and creates a vacuum and i'll tell you what man see how quick she'll return back and then it don't take hardly nothing whatsoever man she'll catch that wind and the next thing you know she's back again and she's taking off just barely but there's there's no real cogging in this i got this is a thermodyne based pma so there's no real cogging in this and very little you can kind of just feel it just if you move them back and forth you just feel it but otherwise i mean they just pretty much run on their own but there it is there's the new kt blades from thermodyne that's the design i took a uh nine blade hub and i drilled to see how big the bolts are these are a lot bigger bolts a way thicker handle and you see how far that travels down into the handle this thing is just hawkish thick right here. and this thing is we don't have much weight to it i gotta get away from it to start but the cool thing is it don't have hardly that much more weight and all the weight's concentrated into the center and the way that they built that airfoil in the back the blades are strong of which I like, listen to that. That's all the noise they make, man. All right, guys, that's it. That's a freakish look, I'm sure, on camera. We've got things to do to them. We don't know yet what that is. Right, Kate?